So in the past couple of videos, we've gone through and we've, for the most part, set up a firearm. However, I want to continue on and actually set up a separate firearm, which will have, which is using the X axis as the forward axis, mostly just to kind of show the differences. And again, I want to kind of cover most bases. So for example, here, if I go ahead and I'll drop down this guy, then I'll go and I'll find the mesh. Granted, this isn't the actual mesh, but it's the same, you know, orientation. There, just so it's a one-to-one. -one. And then I find the other guy we're using here. So you can see this one for the AK is X forward and the M16 is Y forwards. So we want to go ahead and set the AK up basically in the same format that we did the M16. So to do so, and again, I'm doing this because there is some very small differences and I did add an option about, I don't know, five minutes ago <laughs> to help make it a little bit easier. So we're gonna add a actor as a blueprint class, BP underscore tutorial AK. Same thing like before, we're gonna give it a skeletal mesh. It's gonna be the AK complete or combined. And we wanna add our components. So we're gonna add the firearm, the attachment manager, the procedural animation component, and we're going to do the offhand. We're not going to bother with anything else really at the moment. This is mostly just to show the differences because the primary thing when it comes down to it is the aiming. That is what is different. So we're going to continue and set up all of the procedural mesh names just by copying and pasting the name of the mesh. So skeletal mesh, which would be the firearm mesh. And then the firearm component, like before, we do SKG attachment manager so the name of this component itself and then let's go ahead and start working on the sockets so we'll start with the procedural anim so we have s underscore aim let's go to our mesh add a socket s underscore aim Oops. and i'm just gonna i'll just put it right about at the front site for the time being so it wasn't that far off so that's you know ballpark close position it there not going to touch the rotation yet and then we have the offhand ik so we're going to do the socket name of s underscore left hand ik same exact thing add a socket s underscore left hand ik also rushing a bit because my food's just about done and then I think that's almost it. So let's go ahead and set our pawn up to spawn this. I thought I moved the character blueprint, maybe I didn't. So we're gonna change the spawn to the tutorial AK. File save and hit play. So the main thing you'll notice right off the bat is it's rotated 90 degrees. That's because of the idle animation on IK handgun, which was for the M4 that had a different forward axis. So here we have our tutorial idle animation. Now I'm actually going to rename this one to tutorial idle or tutorial M4 idle animation. So we have a good uh, distinguishing name. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select IK handgun, which I've already add, added the AK as a preview asset. And I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees just so it is oriented you know, correctly. From here, I want to create asset, create animation, current pose I'll throw this one in here and it's going to be the same name so a underscore tutorial ak idle animation and hit save All right, so now when we load that up we should be good to go there's our idle let's go to our animation right here i'm going to grab the ak idle animation plug it in we're going to end up setting up a blend in one of the nearby future videos but now when I hit play, here you can see we have the animation. Now the left hand is wrong because we're using a different animation. So we want to set the off offhand IK, go to left hand IK pose, and we want to set this one to be that AK idle pose we just made. So the tutorial AK idle animation, like so. Now we have the correct pose, we just have it in the wrong position. So I'm going to move that socket around a bit. So I'm just going to select the left hand IK and just move it. That's all I'm doing. 
And we're just going to go a little bit that way and a little bit forwards. About there. And hit save. That's close enough for me. So now let's try to aim. So we aim. Firearm gets pointed to the left and the roll by 90. So let's open up the socket, which I aim socket, which I don't know why I closed it. Grab the uh, socket here. And we're going to start with the rotation. So we know we were on the roll and the yaw. So let's do the roll first. So we're going to rotate it up by 90. And now when we aim, we have it straight up. Now we just need to rotate on the yaw. So grab the yaw and rotate it by 90. And that should, in, point, in theory, point us straight ahead. However, you can see there's a problem. We're oriented off to the wrong side. And that's due to the aiming distance cal way that's calculated in various... Uh, well, actually, I can just show you. So under the procedural aim component, we have procedural, then aiming settings. So this forward axis is the new option, which I gave a description as to what it's for and how slash why to use it. But it's the aiming distance. So if I adjust this aiming distance to 45 and aim, you will see it is way over there now. So it's using the wrong axis. So we need to change this because it is a x-axis forward firearm or forward mesh. We're going to change the forward axis to X. Now hit play. And as you can see, we now line it up straight right in front of our camera. It is lined perfectly to the dead center of our screen. And that's pretty much it for the most part. So there's going to be, again, a very small difference when we go through and we actually set up a optic as an attachment. And now that this AK is set up, I will basically show that as well alongside with the M4 because it's very much the same process. It's just, like again, it's slightly different. It's mostly just this forward axis that you're changing. But yeah. So anyways, that's going to be all for this video. Again, I know I rushed it. The main thing I wanted to point that I want to put across was the forward axis. Set that to be the forward axis of your mesh. That's about as simple as I can make it. But anyways. That's going to be all for this video, and I will see you in the next one.